But what about the learning curve that goes into analyzing a deal? Figuring out if the deal is actually profitable. I didn't realize that ranks weren't created equally for each category. There's definitely a learning curve when you first get started analyzing a deal. What about you, man? When you first got started, did you buy a lot of items that didn't sell? Did you waste a lot of money? I know there's a lot of trial and error. Um, yeah, there, there's a big mistake I'm sure a lot of beginning sellers make. I probably almost guarantee you 90% of people make this huge mistake is that when you set up the Amazon seller app and you're scanning, it's all, it's, I believe it's always set up for MF fees. So if you find an item for $5, and it's selling for say $11 and you scan it, the fees might only be a dollar or two on the item. And so you're thinking that item's profitable and you send it in and you end up losing money on the item or breaking even. Um, so you have to fix the Amazon seller app to set up for FBA fees, which the fees on a $5 item that you're selling for 11 fees mm -hmm. will probably be like around $5 or something like that. Well, a lot of people, they get into selling on Amazon and you know everything's all beautiful. They're making money and then they get into this position where they're like, holy crap, there's a lot of other Amazon sellers out there. And they almost get into this position where they're, it's like scarcity. It's like, there's not enough money to go around. Like the prices are raising and they get frightened. But what you don't realize is there's so much inventory out there. And while it is, you know, while it's not the, the, the craziest barrier to entry, what I'm trying to say is it's not the hardest business to get into. The average person who's used to working a nine to five job isn't going to be able to figure out how to get started. Most people, they don't realize that there's free Facebook groups out there, that there's YouTube channels, that there's, you know, communities to help. Now, if you do find somebody, you know, a, a random person on the street wants to start and they get in touch with the YouTube community and the Facebook community and, you know, these videos, there's no excuse not to get started. But most people don't know that these Facebook groups exist. The average person isn't going to be able to figure out how to get started on Amazon. I'm telling you guys right now, I've seen so many people fail just because they're not willing to put in the hard work to realize like most people, they won't even take the time to learn how to, to sign up for Amazon or mm -hmm. they'll get frustrated because it wants them to put in their tax information. Most people aren't used to it. It sounds so basic and elementary, but there's so many little steps to get started. Most people are just trained to be an employee. Most people are trained to get told what to do and then they do it. Wouldn't you agree that most people don't know how to think for themselves? I mean, even the school system, we're brought up not to think for ourselves. Oh, it's for always sure. raise our hand, ask for permission. What should we do? And it's like you get thrown out into the real world and it's yep. like Amazon FBA isn't as easy as people think. It's not hard, but it's not as easy as people think. Exactly. What are your thoughts on that? Um, I, uh, I, I got this quote from, uh, it's easy to do, but it's also easy not to do. I don't remember what book I read, got that out of, but I love that quote. It's easy to do, but it's also easy not to do. Exactly. You know, it's it's taking the small little steps on a daily basis, right? The consistency. It's you know, it's signing up for the account, right? It's putting in your tax information, which is easy, right? But then it's downloading the app. It's understanding the app. It's going out and learning how to buy things at thrift stores, pawn shops. Understanding what to buy. Understanding the ranks. Learning how to ship in items. You know, learning how to deal with a negative feed. There's so many little hurdles, and just like you said. What was it? It's easy to do, but it's also easy not to do. Easy not to do. Someone saying Zig Ziglar, which sounds like a quote from him. I mean, it's not as easy as people think, right? So if you're just watching the show for the first time and you're, you know, you're wanting to get into Amazon FBA, you can do it, right? It's easy to do, but it's easy, easy not to do. I can't, it's, it's such a great quote. It's so simple. If you're just getting started. You can do it. You can make it happen. But what most sellers don't realize is you have to be consistent. You have to learn. You have to get around like-minded people. You have to educate yourself. You have to, you have to grow 1% per day. So.